Bhagavad Gita, verse 3.35 It is far better to execute one's prescribed duties, even though imperfectly, than to perform another's duty perfectly. It is better to die discharging one's own duty in accordance with the Varn Ashram system than to engage in another's duty, for it is dangerous to follow another's path. Sar Ardavarshini Sri Bhagavan sees that due to attachment and aversion, Arjuna is becoming unable to engage in his own prescribed duty of fighting. Instead, he considers it easier to engage in ahimsa, non-violence, which is the duty of another paradharma. Therefore, Sri Bhagavan is speaking this verse beginning with the word Shreyan. The word Miguna means that although the performance of one's own prescribed duties may be defective, And although one may be unable to execute them properly, it is still superior to performing the duties of another, which may contain all good qualities and which one can execute correctly. For this reason, this verse, Sriyan Svadharmaha, is spoken. It is said in Srimad Bhagavatam 7.15.12, The tree of irreligion has five branches. We dharma, performing activities opposed to religion. Paradharma, engaging in another's religious principles. Abhasa, making a show of religious principles. Upama or Upadharma, practicing principles that only appear to be religious. And Jaladharma. Practicing a cheating religion. One who knows religious principles will abandon all of these things, seeing them as forbidden acts. Sar Ardavarshini Prakash Kariti. Activities such as non violence are prescribed for Brahmanas, who are situated in the material mode of goodness or Sattva Guna. For Kshatriyas, who are in the mode of passion, or Rajaguna, the prescribed duty is fighting. Therefore, the prescribed duty for Kshatriyas is to engage in battle. Even if a Kshatriya dies in battle, he attains the heavenly planets. Therefore, it is better for him to fight. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, One who executes his prescribed duties may die before attaining a more elevated qualification. Still, his performance of them is auspicious, because to perform the duties of another is always fearful and dangerous in any circumstance. This consideration, however, does not apply to that bhakti which is beyond the modes, When a person attains the stage of performing nirguna bhakti or bhakti that is beyond the modes of nature, he can give up his occupational duty, swa dharma, without hesitation, because at that time his eternal constitutional nature manifests as his swa dharma. Here, swa means the real self. And dharma means the jiva's eternal function. In that stage, one's previous svadharma, which was related to the body and mind, becomes para dharma, that is belonging to another, and it is secondary to the duties of the awakened self. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.5.41 Those who have taken exclusive shelter of Sri Mukunda, who is the only shelter, and who have renounced all varieties of karma, no longer remain 
indebted to the demigods, sages, living entities, saintly persons and forefathers. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.20.9 A person who has not become fully detached from enjoying the fruits of his actions, karma, and whose fate in the process of bhakti and the hearing of my pastimes is not yet sufficiently developed, must certainly engage in his prescribed duties. The devotees of Bhagavan, the renunciants, on the other hand, have no purpose to achieve by engaging in karma.